I told you to like, share, subscribe to the page, hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, I'm going to be listening to a little more of this interview with academics talking about Kendrick buying bots from this guy, <clears throat> and also Drake's at it again, and um, I'm going to speak on that and how I feel about him posting what he posted, and Cheryl Crow, Cheryl Crow. The country singer has called Drake out on this, um, and I'll get into that too. So, yeah, man. So let's get into the video a little bit, and then um, we're gonna come back and discuss. Like, hey, listen, this is what we're doing. This might be a third party who they use to market songs. I so I actually did get reached out to a third party. And then, and that's when I ended up getting connected with the actual people and the payment was from them. Okay. But yes, at first I was reached out to by a third party saying, hey, we can make some money on this deal. They want this. And then also check your Instagram DMs. Okay. And again, I'm not on anybody's side. I'm not on anybody's team. I'm not in favor of somebody. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to pick and choose. Okay. And even after this, if you want to call me privately and I'll show you everything and I'll explain it more in detail with names. And like, I, I, there's certain people I don't want to bring up as well. But this is my way of ensuring that I'm going to be good. You know what I mean? By just saying something at least. Okay. All right. Now, now I, I'll, I'll tell you guys what, what I'm seeing. I'm not going to show it on camera, obviously. I don't want to betray his trust. Um... This is a bank statement from, well, not statement. This is a video of him being in his bank account and um, him showing that on May 6th, he received a Zelle payment from, and I won't say that person's name, Thank you. but it was for $2,500. Now, um. I think academics has fell into this thing where he feels like he has to break a story. Um, and I don't know why he feels like he can do this to an artist like Kendrick and not do it to an artist like Drake. Well, we know why, but I really, um, this is kind of disgusting to watch, to be honest with you. When did... When did Not Like Us drop? That's important. To, oh, actually, I got it right here. It's May 4th. Yeah. Um. So you got paid two days so, after. Yeah, I got reached out to. Uh, it was May 5th afternoon, and that's when they were like, and I, I will send you also receipts of that as well, me being reached out to by the third party and then being paid by them. Mm. And they actually told me, they're like, hey, we can make some money on this. They just did this drop. We, they want to just push it. That's how they used, That's how they worded it. They said that we want to push the song. We want to make it look like a crazy hit, and we want to go crazy, and everybody wants to get paid. Okay. So I'm saying, mm -hmm. fine, yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. Could you send me that as well? Yes, I will. Okay. And, and by the way, chat, again, you know, this guy might be witty with, with fucking software, but it does look like an actual bank account, and there's a name that I, I recognize that I won't, I, won't, I won't say. But yeah, and the only reason they're there, I blacked out a little bit right there is yeah, because yeah. it is my first name. And later, I will, if you want, I will call sc and screen share with you on FaceTime or whatever you want. And I would scroll out of the app, I'll log in, I'll, I'll click on it, I'll do whatever you need me to do. So, what I don't understand is you saying it's your first name, but people contacted you already, so it ain't like, like you said, your, I believe you said your name on the stream. So everybody knows you as Epic. They type your name in. If you're known throughout the industry, right? Everybody knows you. What do you, why did you black your name out? That doesn't make sense. Why would you black your name out if, you, if everybody knows who you are? Everybody knows your name. Okay. And it, and it wasn't for like a crazy amount of streams either. That's what I'm saying. It was just for an initial push. Okay. 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 All right. That's what I'm saying. I'm not responsible for all the streams. I'm not responsible. He he has a hit. 
it did good. It's an amazing song. It's very catchy, and that's why everybody likes it. Okay, so, but so let me I'm just saying it needs that initial push. So it, it was 30 million streams, but on what platform? Spotify. On the thing about it is Spotify is the most bought, like you know, like easy to bot platform. And a lot of people know this, and it's you know it's been around for a while. It's no secret that people bought. Is it a easy, lot of people bought? A lot of artists bought. Is it easier to bot than like say YouTube or like Apple Music? So the thing about Apple Music is you actually can't bot Apple Music, and really? anybody who works in this industry will tell you you can't. W- why not? Because their their um platform isn't a free platform. It's not free to use. Yeah, but you said that the accounts that Yali. You can still listen to music on Apple Music without having an account. You definitely can still listen to music without having an account. Using them for Spotify yeah, Premium. They which is actually premium. ended up patching that. So you used to be able to do Apple Music the same way you're able to do Spotify. What do you mean? But they Explain. actually patched down. Like you used to be able to do the fake gift cards, the fake streams that way, but they actually made it so you can't. They have the best security when it comes to bot protection out of any streaming platform. YouTube, there will forever be bots because it's paid. It's, it, I mean, it's free. You don't have to have an account. You could be a guest and you could watch a video and it will count as a view. Apple Music has been able to crack down on it for the longest time. And for Spotify, it's a 30-day free trial. But for Apple Music, you have to pay, and you iPhone user, etc. Mm, okay, so it was thirty million on Spotify. Yeah, only on Spotify. Nothing else. I have nothing to do with YouTube. I have nothing to do with Apple Music. I have nothing to do with Shazam or any of those other platforms. Okay, so you know this is going to be the the sticking point that I'm going to be confused about. This song yeah. is going to make millions of dollars. Yeah. Why the hell would they fleece you out of? It appears that it's like maybe let's say five thousand dollars, and I know I know they whoever told you points on on the song, but they could have probably just gave you another ten, and I, I, you could tell me if they gave you fifteen thousand, would you have like why did it get here? Yeah, because I mean I literally made, I lost money. Like I paid out of pocket to pay for the streams, and I didn't receive money. That's the only reason. Like if they paid me, wait a minute, bro. See, watch the other video, but what kills me with this guy is he's basically saying that he paid out his pocket to do what? They come to you to give something an initial push. What are you paying for? What are you paying for? Because you said, you basically said that you are the guy who does it. So who are you paying? Who did you pay? That's what I don't understand. You're you basically saying that that people come to you and they use your service. OK, so who did you pay? Did you did you uh, pay for gift cards? What did you pay for? I need to understand it. Maybe he's going to explain, but I need to understand. I would have kept my mouth shut. Like, I, I obviously, I'm not going to say anything. I do good business. People do good business with me. I'm not going to say anything. That again, I don't take sides. I'm not biased. I don't care who it is. How much? I don't lost? really know. How much? How much money? So for me, I did come out of pocket about like ten, clo- close to ten thousand dollars. Nigga, okay. get the fuck out! And of I did here. use. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here, bro! You, your art, your story is way, lo- bro. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga said that they offered to pay him five thousand dollars, right? For them, for him to push the song. They gave him twenty five hundred. This motherfucker now is saying that he spent almost ten thousand dollars. So that means you spent what eight thousand eight eight thousand dollars more? About eight thousand seventy five hundred dollars more. That's what you're saying. That's that's yo. You are. This is some bullshit, bro. Act. You need to screen these people before they come on. That's crazy for you even say that, bro. How you, how, so you saying you came out of pocket, but the first thing you said was they owed you, they owed you $2,500 more. Nigga, you spent that money on your own. What the fuck, nigga? <laughs> Come on, bro. Some of it, just that 2.5, I did use it. It did go to that cost. Okay. 
And and, and and so why didn't they pay you then, the, the rest of the money? I still don't understand. I, I don't know why to this day. That, and that's another reason why I, I just, I don't know why they couldn't have just finished paying me or I couldn't have been reached out to somebody else and, you know, they could have explained it to me and then I just would have kept my mouth shut and then we wouldn't have gotten here. Okay, so break it down to me. So you're dealing with this third-party company that I'm guessing they're working with. They're the one who got you to start the the, the, the fake streams, and then you get paid. And by the way, I, I will say this. The, the person who allegedly paid him, at least from what I saw on on the – it was a Zell. Um, yeah. it, it's, it's somebody – it's associated definitely with um, the, um, the camp. Uh did you at least go back to the third party people and be like, hey, what's up with the rest of the money? And then I did. maybe did you try to I, go ahead? Yeah. So I did reach out. I was calling. I was texting. Hey, like any any updates, anything, anything new? Could you let me know what's happening? I question marks, question marks. And I uh, just didn't receive anything. And I didn't really worry about it. I was just like, OK, maybe they're busy. You know, it's a crazy drop. You know, I'm not going to go out there and try to attack them. I'm not going to go look for them. I'm not going to do anything like that. Mm. And they just ghosted you. I mean, yeah, I got ghosted by the third party. So if you got ghosted by the third party, um, did you try to get in contact with the, the team around Kendrick? Yeah, I did. I reached out to some people. Um, nothing, nothing really like no interest. And then I also reached out to, um, some people from the other camp as well. And they just said they weren't interested in, oh, in anything at oh, all. Oh, what do you mean the other camp? Uh, Drake. So I try to reach out to them and say, Hey, what's up? Like anything, blah, blah, blah. And oh, they wait, just wait, wait, wait. weren't showing any interest at all. Why would you reach out to Drake's camp? Because that's who they're beefing with. That's the other side you know i'm just saying oh if anything God. happened over Bro, there i was just this asking this shit is great hold up nigga hold up nigga and there it is the truth comes out see that see that i was trying to see if they had any involvement if they you know and i also try to tell them like hey this is what happened same thing like how i'm telling you right now okay i try to explain that to them or try to get in contact with them and they just showed no interest and they shut me down come so, on bro. We, this is Come on, bro. I don't know. Listen, I'm so happy that I listened to the rest of this interview. Now I understand that this is complete garbage. So you reached out to Drake's camp and asked him about Kendrick? What sense does this make? You you reached out to Drake camp. Come on, bro. You can't, yo. First of all, your business ethics are way off, bro. How are you even making deals with people if you are sharing information with other people that they're beefing with? You don't know the proper etiquette of business. You do not share information from someone else to someone else. That's the enemy of someone else. That doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Even as a businessman, why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's listen to a little more. Then we're going to shut it down. You just try to switch sides. Well, not necessarily switch sides. I know you say don't pick sides, but where you just try to be like, all right, cool. If y'all not going to pay for my services, maybe I could get Drake to pay for my services to do stuff for him. Yeah. If, so if they wanted the ammo, if they wanted, you know, the knowledge, I was going to go over there and be like, hey, like, just a heads up. But no, they seemed very uninterested and they didn't want to they didn't want anything Nigga, to do with oh, it. Oh, and you were willing to like, here. yo, yo Drake, listen, I, I, I'll expose it. I'll give you the details of how we did business yo. that you could use as ammo <laughs> against this guy. Yes. And he just said, you know, it's like it's not even worth it. It's, it's like, well, this is what they were saying. They, they were saying it's probably not worth it. It's not worth it to reach out. We're just going to, you know, not we're not interested in what you have to say pretty much. Okay. Nah. Now nigga. again, you know. I nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah. Nah, nigga. You lying. I smell somebody lying. Somebody lying. Ah oh, man. So look, let's get to it, man. <sighs> man, oh man, I tell you, man. Look, here's a crazy thing, man. These people will do anything to stop the momentum of something. Right. So on the screen, 
y'all can see Drake. Now he's saying that he's sending these cryptic messages, basically talking about the bots. Now, Sheryl Crow called him out and said that it was disgusting for him to be using people's voice, or, you know, voiceover, whatever, in his likeness. And I agree with her. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that AI should be a big deal anymore. I think people know that people use AI. That's it. But I don't think that artists should be using AI. That's just that. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as uh the bot thing goes. So you just basically. This is what doesn't make sense to me, right? So the dude said he reached out to Drake's camp and was going to give them the information. Because they didn't pay him. First, he said they re he reached out to them and asked them, do they know anything about a payment? Which makes no sense. Why would you reach out to another camp asking them about payment? That's how I know you're full of shit. Then he said that he was going to offer them information about Kendrick and his camp when it comes to the bots. And they said, no, no, thank you. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> this shit is crazy. And then Drake, what he does is he goes and put a cryptic message of a bot up. It's like, wait a minute, dog. So you so you got reached out by the same guy who said that Kendrick was buying bots and you said, no, you don't want to deal with it. Or your team said, yeah, I don't want to deal with it. And now you're posting cryptic messages about a bot, about buying bots or a bot. This shit is crazy. It's like, come on, bro. What are we doing here? I don't listen, bro. I don't understand the mentality of Drake. I really, really don't. I don't. The more and more he goes on, the more and more Kendrick was right about him, you know, posting shit like a bitch. The more and more he does this, the more and more Kendrick was right. It's crazy how Kendrick predicts everything Drake's going to do. He literally said that. You're, 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 you're not calculated. Why, why do I need to be calculated? You're not a calculated person. Like, I could even predict your angles. Everything you do, I could predict your angles. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said that in every one of the songs about Drake and how Drake is just, he's just a moving puppet. That's it. And someone's controlling them at the top. I don't know who it is, but someone is. So it is what it is. But I mean, at this point, man, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to uh, get up out of here. Oh, yeah. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I see a lot of people. They like the content. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the content if you like it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you very much. I did not release... Taylor made freestyle breakdown and push-ups breakdown. I don't know why I forgot. Maybe it was so much going on, but I'm going to release those videos. Um, I don't know if they got corrupted or something. Maybe I can't remember, but if they have to, if I have to do it over, I'm going to do it over. But yeah, I'm going to be releasing those. So y'all going to see those coming through. You know what I'm saying? For all the people who wanted me to break down Drake stuff. And I got some other breakdowns coming too, so... Hey, man, you know what it is. Torture Talk. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.